It's your boy, Famous Animal TV. Hottest shit in the streets. You want your shit in the streets? Need you to come see me. Who I got in the building with me? I am Slim Gleese, man. Big Trap. You hear me? CH4L shit, man. HQTM, man. You know what's going on. High quality trap music. Yeah. Come on, man. Where you coming from, then? Nigga Merlin, man. I just told you, man. 805, man. Capital Heights, man. Oh, Strata, yeah. Merlin. You got that hot shit for me? I am. Let's go. I am Slim Gleesh Look, I don't give a fuck about that nigga having next My next flip will be a key I'm not a hater I'm just saying fuck them if they ain't trying to run it up with me Me with all the glizzy is like who love you when you gone That's something you will never see Wake up the bad bitches by my side without being hooked to an IV Top of Tai Chi Hit his ass up the middle Spin his ass like a riddle Don't lean with me I had your kids mixing they spark bottles up with Skittles I ain't have a bed I slept on Aunt Jen the couch with a giant sport full of pillows Remember that hoe earned had in the wall That's why I used to keep the pistol Name it out and did it Bodies over state lines Double digit state time Chanel, I'm sorry You ain't never told me no All I do is make you cry It's sad but true I'm just an ordinary dude Indecisive state of mind Meaning it's hard Not to put you through some shit When I'm still on the front line I had to make sure they understand I'm not a perfect nigga by far I don't beat on bitches, but I yoke your ass up and stick your ass in that car. We disagree and you don't wanna speak. Really no need to plan on the phone. Know you gon' text a bunch of paragraphs. I'm telling you now, I ain't gon' respond. My word is barred. Grew up on doing whatever I told niggas that I could. Same so pay of pants. Looking out for everybody. Knowing that I wasn't good. Loyal to the hood. Rather struggle with my mans instead of saying I couldn't do it. Now I feel stupid. Same nigga talk about me like I ain't did nothing for him. Fuck him, cause we done really did for us. Inside parking lots and suites. Some of my niggas never coming home. Few of my niggas still in the streets. I don't be quick to tell nobody what it happened to niggas if we had beef. Last motherfucker was found stankin' in his car, dead for a whole week. I was just flipping through magazines just to give me a nut till I got a smartphone. You ain't go through that bed with me, I ain't mad. Just don't expect for us to talk long. My little niggas concrete. If I sell him a block, that shit getting walked on. Put myself in the loop, nigga. Tell that shit to your circle whenever you talk to him. None of the pussy niggas that you hold be conversating on the phone with. Gave up on the record deal. Ran my racks to the ceiling when they got my own shit. Cause he bought with no hope. Feelings. She leave me behind, I know I ain't gon' trip I went got the side piece, cause the 52 B in the village of 50 dollars I am! <laughs> yeah, yeah. For real though Yeah, yeah. For real though Let's go! Bitch, y'all! Straight like that. Your toes, your toes coming out of Maryland, like yeah, man. They call it the DMV. That like, is DMV. What is like from your experiences coming from the DMV area? Oh man, <laughs> you know trials and tribulations, ups and downs, lessons to be learned. You hear me? Mm. Mistakes get made. You know what I mean? You know you gotta you know sacrifice. You hear me? You know sacrifice. science. Yeah, science shit every way. Sacrifice? What you mean? Hey, so you got to sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? I, I had to sacrifice. You feel what I'm saying? Like I had to pretty much like like hone in on me. You get what I'm saying? Like I had to leave all that. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, like I just said in my in my shit. Like you know what I'm saying? That loyal to the block shit. You know what I'm saying? Focus on me. You know what I'm saying? Separate, mm. move to NC, do my little one two. You know what I'm saying? Run my bag up. You get what I'm saying? Mm, so you had to sacrifice leaving the block. I had to sacrifice a whole lot of shit, man. I just came with on 12 and a half. You know what Damn. I'm saying? That's 12 the biggest, and a half years? Yeah. Biggest sacrifice I ever made. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, put my freedom on the line. You know what I'm saying? Mm. To be where I'm at right now. Real talk. Damn. Like, not to get in too much. You you out, you home. Oh, 12 question. and a half years. Hell yeah. Damn. Did you come a, become a rapper in that motherfucker? Nah. Like, I been. You know what I'm saying? Like, I been. On it, like I've been talented, you know what I'm saying? Just posting up my mind, drinking, smoking, doing my little one two, beating on my chest, beating on cars, rapping and shit, just doing the one two while we out there. It just, I took it more serious being behind the wall, mainly with some out of state niggas. You get what I'm saying? Just yeah. saying all the love I was getting from motherfuckers from all over the world, you know what I'm saying? Just running across different motherfuckers, 
You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, niggas just giving me that motivation. Like, damn, bro, you got it. Like, for niggas that's not coming home and shit like that, they're like, bro, you our voice out there. Like, you got to jump out that motherfucker and make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So I came home. I hit the ground running. Real talk. Damn. So, like, going beating on your chest on the block with your, you know what I'm saying, the niggas on the block, to doing 12 and a half years to now, like, how was the, was the journey? Was it was it worth it? I'm gonna say, you know, n- not really. I ain't gonna say nah. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say it was worth it because I missed out on the whole lot. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I missed out on a whole lot, but the lesson that I learned was worth it though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I got something out of it. Real but, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't worth what everybody else had to go through. You get what I'm saying? Mm. It wasn't worth what I, what I took everybody else through. You know what I'm saying? And I don't give a fuck. Like no matter. How big you get, no level of fame or success. That shit ain't, you know what I mean? Like, that shit ain't, it ain't worth missing. You know what I'm saying? Like, the the birth of your loved ones. You get what I'm saying? Graduations. You know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of people while I was locked up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I also feel like a lot of good men that I was fucking with that looked up to me, they'd still be here if I wasn't gone. Mm. You'd be able to guide them in a different direction. Yeah, for sure. Protect them, whatever. You know what, what I'm saying? Because my, my mind was different anyway. Mm. Oh, that's, oh yeah, this trap right here. Yo, yo. Yeah. Yeah, we right here. We live. We lit. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, you want record? <laughs> Hottest shit in the street. I am. Bitch trap. <laughs> For real, though. HQTM, man. High quality trap music, man. What's good, fool? Bet that. So, like... The tattoos and shit on your face. Mm-hmm. This shit had like meanings and shit. Like. Yeah, most definitely. Mm. Most definitely. You gotta move with purpose. Yeah, yeah me. Some of them I wish I ain't get. Mm. Cause it just, it just, it, it, it's an invitation. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And uh, you know, doors open up and doors get shut. You know what I'm saying? Luckily, like the world that we living in right now, I go to doctors' offices. I go to you know what I'm saying? Restaurants. I go to different places. You gonna see motherfuckers with sleeves. Motherfuckers with tax and shit like that. But, you know, then you got some people that just want to see what that's about. You know what I mean? They want to know, like, okay, you know what I mean? Did you kill some people? <laughs> or did you, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's like, what they want to That's know. how they be looking at yeah, you. Yeah, it's like an invitation. Yeah. It's like when you went in prison, you see a nigga with some shower shoes on. You know that's a no-go. You know what I'm saying? But the way the way the structure was set where I was at, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be different, but the way the structure was set where I was at, like, you couldn't get caught lacking in those shower shoes, especially if you belong to some sort of entity. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you a banger, like, you bang, you blood, crypt, serene, yo, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Even if you went hard, that right there is an invitation to let a nigga know you lacking right you now. Slipping. Right. By wearing some slippers. By wearing some slippers. Nigga gonna wear your ass out. Mm. Try to anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he learned after that, that's on him. But you open that door. Mm. And you learned that throughout being behind him. Yeah, I learned a lot being behind the wall. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? It was it was just sweet for me though, but you know what I'm saying. I ain't let that go to my head neither though, because you still got other motherfuckers that ain't big like me. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. So like, not to get into nobody else or nothing, but like going to prison doing twelve and a half. Is it best to be affiliated or have some niggas with you like on your side, or you just got going there and stand on principle? Like, I mean, all right. So we got saying where I'm from. You know what I mean, men respect men. You get what I'm saying? You carry yourself like a man, you're going to be respected like one. You know what I'm saying? You, you be on whole shit, you know, you know the recipe. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like yeah, hell yeah. Like, that's that's what it is. It's, I, but I'm going to also say this. I'm going to keep it real. To, like, other up-and-coming motherfuckers that's just doing this shit. You know, niggas like, you know, pooty age and shit like that. They be thinking like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Or, like, watching my successes and my failures and being affiliated. You get what I'm saying? It ain't worth it. Because, like, a lot of times you could be cool with a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, that's not. And the nigga might just have, like, a little petty-ass debt or a petty-ass argument with one of your peoples, and you got to clap him. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, toss yeah. put you in situations yeah, that you, you probably you, don't want to be in. Yeah, you got to fill him up. Like, nigga push the button on a nigga. It ain't no, oh, I got to go to school. I got to get my GED. My mother coming to see me Saturday. None of that. Nigga, you got to go. Mm. Nigga pull your jersey, your number up there. Yeah, toss. Hey. Damn. <laughs> Coming from on the block, rapping, being on your chest and shit like that. Of course, that was like off the top of shit, right? Yeah, for sure. Mm. Like, yeah, go crazy. Real talk through that process. Was you writing this shit when you were locked up? Yeah, I did a whole lot of writing because that was like my therapy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Even though you did, you always had like the motherfuckers that just like 
oh yeah, you could go harder, bro. Man, fuck all that. Let me just hear something type shit. But more or less, like, I ain't even gonna lie to you. When I started writing, I, I lost my I lost my love for just like up and freestyling for real because I had the room to say what I wanted to say, however I wanted to say it. I, I was able to make shit make sense. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just rambling off at the mouth. You get what I'm saying? You structure. Yeah, like it's mm. a structure. You know what I'm saying? I'm big on that. Real talk. So it's best to be able to write your shit down so you know how to come, how to put it. And you, yeah. you feel more comfortable writing than just freestyle saying some shit. Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. That's that's my comfort zone. Like being able to write, like I say, just being able to actually be like, oh, you know what? I ain't gonna say that. You know what I mean? I'll put it like this. Like I use bold words. I gotta make these niggas feel me. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Real like, talk. I gotta make a motherfucker feel me versus you just, uh, you know, like people like that shit though. You know, they like the, the, the rough and rugged raw, but I, I like for a nigga to make sense. And even if you write, that's, that don't necessarily mean it's not a freestyle because you could actually just grab the pen and the pad and, and just start get the, writing shit out of your saying? mind. Just get the, you know what I'm saying, going crazy with that shit. I done did that plenty of times. And then I run it back when I'm like, oh, bro, what you over there writing? I'd be like, man, I know you write something. I'd be like, get in the vent line. Man, listen to this shit real quick. Man, I just came up with this shit on top of the head. Boom. Like, oh, yeah, hell yeah, bro. You need to put a hook on that. Or you need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was hella love behind the wall. I ain't going to hold you. Like the hell of love behind the wall. That's why I'm doing this shit right now, though. Yeah, I'm saying, though, what you doing it for? Is you doing it to just fulfill the people, letting them hear you? You doing it? Of course, you doing it to get paid. Of course, I ain't gonna ask that. But like, what's I'm your purpose? That's what I love to do. Okay, that's what I love to do. Like I say, and then, like I say, and then it, it became more sentimental when you know what I'm saying. Like the people that was really rooting for me to like, like keep going. They ain't here no more. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Like, they, I definitely you get what, get I'm what saying. you're saying. Exactly. So you trying to fulfill, you know what I'm saying? The, the like, you got to become something like, bro, like, I'm, I, in my situation, I don't know how other rappers look at it. I'm going to keep it real with you, though. With me, it's like I wasn't giving this shit for no fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? I ain't learned how to rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? And keep it real with you. Like, growing up, yeah, I heard rap music, but I was too busy being a, I wasn't no thug or no gangster. I was just a badass kid. You get what I'm saying? And then it just, like, came to me. That's why it's called a gift. You get what I'm saying? It just came to me. So I'm on some shit like, I ain't about to waste this shit. You know mm. what I'm saying? And I've been being told that my whole life from plugs, street niggas, killers, robbers, whoever. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that ever came across for me, you know what I'm saying? They always built some type of bond or relationship or had some type of love for me because I had something that everybody else ain't had. You know what I'm saying? It was like, bro, you the one. Like, you gonna, you gonna be the one that's gonna, you feel me? Like, fuck everything. Like I said, that was the sacrifice I had to make. Like, start taking heed to shit niggas was really telling me, though. Because I'm, I'm witnessing motherfuckers make the same mistake, at the same mistake, at the same mistake. You know what I'm saying? Then you witnessing motherfuckers that be sometimes out there and they don't got to be. And that was the thing that motherfuckers was telling me. Like, bro, yeah, you know, your reality different. However you perceive your reality to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you going to be out here because of that. But once you lock in on your craft, my nigga, you ain't got to sell another motherfucking gram of dope a day in your life, my nigga. Rap. Talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they was there for real. They telling me this to this day. I got homies that call me every day. Life senses from behind the wall. Every day. That's when my phone ain't never off. You know what I'm saying? Niggas call me every day. And that's what they that's what they preach. And they worried more about me than they is getting the fuck out or fighting mm. their case and shit like that. They're like, bro, rap. You know what I'm saying? You can't even talk that gangster shit with them niggas. Like, oh, yeah, I'm out here running the bag up. I'm out man, here. I don't out here. Yeah, I want to shot two, three people. I don't want to hear that shit. Man, them niggas like, man, you need to be out there rapping, nigga. Oh, <laughs> for real, though. Talk. What you didn't drop? What you didn't put out? I mean, so far, like, I'm just starting to get into like the algorithm of uh not even just the algorithm, I'm gonna say let's part myself. I'm getting into the field of social media. You know what I'm saying? But I have dropped uh, you know, the goat freestyle. I mean, I I drop I dropped the uh Gleach Flow mixtape, you know what I'm saying? I dropped that bitch through Distro Kid because I ain't really know nothing about like you know, digitally putting out, yeah, distribution, you know what I'm saying? Me being able to just walk up to a motherfucker or deal with somebody that'll actually reach back out to you and, like, guide me on how to put out a mixtape, put out different shit like that. So, you know what I'm saying? One of my guys, like I say, behind the wall, he hit me, was like, bro, you don't know about this, okay? kid? Like, nah, I don't know about that. You know, you're not in masses, shit like that. I'm like, shit, bro, drop your shit, take it to the studio, do whatever you got to do, you know what I'm saying? Upload that shit to that bitch. They gonna distribute that shit, and I've been getting money all that. Real talk, <laughs> niggas gonna listen to your shit. I swear to God, real talk, I TikTok, see. all that shit. Like I, I actually, you know what I mean, when I first came home, my nigga Quasi, uh, 
I was walking through the mall in Greenville, North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, I just go in there to bullshit around. You know what I'm saying? But my sister, she like real, she like my biggest support other than the ones that you see with me right now. That's why you see I don't come with a whole lot of motherfuckers because that support, that love be phony. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, me, we walking through the mall and shit and shit, you know what I'm saying? She, she, without me, like, unbeknownst to me, she just walking to the nigga like, look, man, I see I got a speaker right there. Let me put on this beat like my brother, you know what I'm saying, rock out in the middle of the mall. You know what I'm saying? So, nigga, like, one of the niggas, you know, he on some, he on some, you know what I mean? Yeah. He on some, tch, tch. Yeah. so he like, yeah, you got to buy a shirt. You know what I'm saying? My man that put me on, though, you know, that's how I first went viral when I came home, fucking with Quasi. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Fucking with Quasi. Quasi let me jump out there in the middle of the mall, use the speaker, cut on the beat, go crazy. I uploaded that bitch to TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Half a million views. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't get into the likes and shit, but it just felt good mm. to know that people was listening. Talk. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I dropped a few things, but like I said, I'm still learning my way, still learning the ropes. Real talk. Thanks. Yeah, for real, though. I heard you say something when you um first came. You said like some shit you said in your song, and it's like, damn, okay, you rapping about the shit you actually going through. Most shit? definitely, most definitely, ain't yeah, ain't no fabrication involved in that shit. You hear me? Yeah, like for real, for real though. Like niggas who know me, they know what's going on, man. You hear me? I am. Yeah, it's not least, man. You hear me? Big try. Real talk. So like, what record could you send the people to, and if they listen to that record, they can kind of get a point of view of how you coming or how you living or what you going through type shit. All of them. All of them. Swear to God. Talking, <laughs> you know what, what they got to put in? Huh? What they got to put in to go find a record? Oh, say, I mean, you could just type in Slam Gleesh, man, on all platforms. You type in Slam Gleesh, man, S-L-I-M-G-L-E-E-S-H. You just type in Slam Gleesh on all, all streaming platforms. YouTube, you know what I mean? You want to tap into like little freestyles and shit on social media is at I am underscore HQTM. Real talk. Real talk. How did you get the rap name? How did you get the name? Oh, yeah. R.I.P. my man. B.O.B., man. Like, I was locked up. You know how the lingo in the streets be changing. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even, like, I did my bid out of state. You get what I'm saying? Because I had moved down to North Carolina and caught a bag. You mm, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, my first two weeks down here type shit. Like, so... You know what I mean? Like me, you know, just chopping it up with him and shit like that. You know, he he like he spitting like different lingo and shit. So I'm like, hey, boy, you glitchy, da da da. Like, man, the fuck that man? He be like yeah. slam. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he like he like slam. You nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you matter of fact, man. Yeah. And that's how I, you know what I'm saying. I had to ask him like what it meant. Mm. You get what I'm saying? And that's just and, it, and it's like every time we talk, we ain't talk all the time. You know what I'm saying? As much as we did when I was in the streets, but when we did talk, he just be like, oh, shit, what's up, Gleesh? What's up, nephew? You know what I'm saying? And you know where we from? We say Slim a lot. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we just like, yeah, hey, what's up, Slim? Well, what's up, Gleesh? You know what I'm saying? Like, matter of fact, nigga, that's what it is. Real talk. And keep it real, I ain't even had no rap name. I was still going by, you know, my my my, my blood tag. You hear me? Mm, so but at that moment when you heard it, you like, damn, that's it. Yeah, I mean, he gave it to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I actually came to a nigga like, man, I can't go out there with no shit like this. I need some universal friendly shit. I need some shit at least motherfuckers going to be like, all right, you know, something that was a little... Yeah, a little you know catchy. Like, yeah, yeah, a little different. Talk. Yeah, a little different from Mayday or different from Lord J or, you know, whatever little names niggas came up with. You know what I'm saying? I mm. took that and ran with it and RP to my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, he passed like last December. So you know, I ran with it. Mm. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, you know I ain't gonna hold you up. I know you gotta get back to it, but like, oh, like, what's your goal in this shit? If you can get them with a goal, or you can get if you can say something to the people, fans, the people fucking with you, the people who getting to know you, what would you say? I mean, my goal for real, for real, is, is to take small steps at a time. You get what I'm saying? Just like right now, I'm in the process of staying focused because I ain't got it all together. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting it together. You get what I'm saying? So right now. Like at a at a at a small standpoint, like just to stay focused, just to like I say, just hone in on my craft, keep dropping good music, keep keeping it real with the people. You get what I'm saying? And I advise everybody else that got anything going on to do the same thing. Like don't worry about, you know, motherfuckers that's hating on you or people that's just, you know what I'm saying, like locked in, just see what you got going on, just so they can have something to say. Like, like really isolate yourself, run your bag up, do what you gotta do, keep it real with your people, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Create small goals. And those goals give you the confidence to, you know, sit at the round table and and, and, and discuss the bigger pitch. You get what I'm saying? Real talk. Yeah. So, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Real talk. This little shit right here, like, it ain't little. This this major for me. Nah, I'm you know what I'm saying? Like, swear to God, this major for me. So now, like, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't give a fuck. I go anywhere right now. I pretty talking. much do anything. So I'm like, shit, man. I don't, I don't, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? I got famous animal on my belt, on, nigga. Man, like, that's I got, all yeah, the hottest <laughs> shit in the street. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me though? Real. Swear to God. I swear to God, that shit all the way real though. And I told you when I when I first came home, like I had I had plenty of joints in prison. So like I been, you know what I'm saying. So when mm. I first came, I reached out, and then you sent me the you sent me the you know what I'm saying. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. I'm on probation. How the fuck I'm gonna get this nigga this money? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, how the fuck I'm gonna be able to, like, man, fuck it. We gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> yeah. <Real talk>. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? We gotta do what we gotta do. Come on, man. Hey, and, and, Make this shit happen. And we here, though. Real talk. Like, swear nah, to God, like, well, hey, listen, <laughs> hey, nah, and that's that. Matter of fact, fuck that. What he say, what I wanna say to the people, gang, you, you pretty much like, you know, you stay, you, and I, I used to always think everybody said the same shit. Like when people get a Grammy or when people win awards, they be like, oh, stay stay consistent, stay this. You like everybody, man, that shit true as hell. You know what I'm saying? You got to speak that shit into existence. Distance. Swear right. to God, I've been telling niggas like, man, I'm fucking around, get on Famous Animal, bro. That nigga lit. I got to, yeah, 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 I'm reaching out, dude, doing my one, two, then guess what? Slowly but surely, man. A year later, nigga, I'm right here. Real talk. <laughs> shit happened. Shit made it happen. You feel me? Man. I ain't staying down. I stay real. Like I said, I stay real with my people. I wasn't, I was myself. I wasn't flogging. I ain't fabricate nothing. I let niggas know how I was coming, where I came from, what I was willing to do, what I was willing to put up, whether I needed a nigga to help me meet me halfway or whatever the case may be. Real talk. And on top of that, I let my talent speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, you invest in me, nigga. This is what you gonna get out. Real talk, real you know shit. Like, <laughs> like, and th- this is what we got going on. Facts. <laughs> real talk. <laughs> That's what we got going sure. on. We lit. Hide the shit in the street, nigga. Let's go. Y'all Hide the shit in the streets, boy, man. man. Slam Bleach, man. Big trap. Like I say, man, HQTM, man. High quality trap music, man. You can hit me up for the merch and all that shit, man. Real like talk. I said, man, get at me. Come yeah, on, man. We building, man. We building. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? Stay out the street. Stay out the street. Stay out the street.